Morning, Dave. Good morning. What's the job task today? Well, we're going to install this new Ogo toilet. So everything that you can see here come with it all come in this one box. It says it weighs 13 kilos. So the only thing I did buy is a little vent <coughs> that will go on the toilet door if you come around here. We'll actually vent it out here. Something like that. I don't know, one way, somewhere along there. So it means I've got to drill a hole in here into the new door. So we're going to take all of that out, <coughs> put this in. You did have to, and typical bunnings, you can't just buy a little piece. That will be what will go through the door. They'll connect onto there, and then that hose there will come onto this. So I only really need, I don't know, four inches. So we'll, we'll get into it. We'll start pulling the old one out. Oh, and that's Excuse for me. sale. Yeah. Oh, anyone wants a brand new toilet, never been used. And cassette. Hit us up. Yeah. Right, let's go. Okay, measure twice, cut once. I'm not cutting anything at the moment. I'm just going to start pulling screws out and see what happens. So I would say this whole thing is just held in with these screws here. We'll start with this anyway. Right, um, these, I'm only guessing as I go, so um, don't show you taking the toilet out. It's just gone and then they put the other one in. So it's all guesswork. I just started pulling them apart. I did look that I'm going to have to Along here is a bit of silicon, so i have to cut that with that, which I'll do in a sec. I've taken the screws out of here and the screws around here. Um, I would, by the looks of it, I think it comes in separate parts, like this top bit will pull off, then I can get in and pull this bottom bit off, but it looks like these come out as well, so give us a sec and we'll see what happens. Cutting the screws up there. How's it going? Yeah. You pull everything out, but I've undone all the screws, but I still think it's Obviously just clips in, but how far do you force it before you break it? Reckon these bits need to come out too. Yep. Oh, no wonder it's not coming out. Look at them all. Right. So to get to these screws here, you've got to pull these out, and they sort of fit in there. There's only two bits here and here. You need to give them a fairly good yank. Oh, let's unscrew this. It probably all come out in one piece now. I've taken one, two, three out, which I'd say would then take this top bit out. These four would hold the base in. Let's see if I can get it out inside. Feel like you got it? Yeah, so I've done all those, those four other screws. Now the whole thing's moving. I've just got to obviously um, disconnect these water, the power. Right, I'm under the van now. This is one hose here, which is like the breather hose. And that's your power going in. So I've disconnected the power. I've just got to push that back up through the hole. That went up through there 
and come sort of lent down dribbled out there this is the water coming in so I just need to disconnect it here and then um, it should all come out oh. obviously there's water in that so to just disconnect that so that'll come up through the hole just need to pull that through and the whole thing should come out and then I'll just got to disconnect that let that down <clears throat> then just block off that water now the whole damn thing should come out does weigh more than this probably they say I think they say that weighs 13 kilos I mean this must weigh about seven or something plus the cassette so well with the cassette in it um, cassettes pretty light you know it's not a heavy thing but so if you picked it up together what would you what would you say It's probably about five kilos difference. Okay. But you're not running, you know. Emptying, emptying every this three all days. The time, every yeah. three days. And you know, that's water we're not now using for the toilet. So yeah. give this a bit of a clean. All right. So pretty easy, that, that's all we need is a positive and negative to run the fan. Um, then obviously I'm gonna drill a hole in here so that it can vent it out. The only problem is like everything with these things, it's a retrofit, so it's not gonna have, I think there's a bracket up here yeah, or something. There, there is, yeah. So I don't know how it's gonna look. We might have to make a um, shroud or something to go around it to try and hide some of this stuff, finish it off. But we'll just get it in for now. What are you doing? I don't know, like, on here, this is the vent where it vents out, but you're gonna, how am I gonna hide it? I was thinking I might be able to take all this off and might be able to use this shroud so it backs onto it, but I'll have a look. We'll put this in to see, see what it looks like. So it's going to have to sit out back off the wall. Slightly, because obviously when you open the lid. Well, you can see oh. down here where the power cord comes through. So we really need to build something up around here. That's what I'm wondering. Plus I've got that. So maybe that's why it's a little bit heavy. Yeah, I don't know. A bit of cardboard. And some chemical oh, there clean. You go. Not chem not oh, chemical yeah. clean. It's like a deodorizer. Oh yeah. So it comes with <coughs> comes with that as well. Yeah. Oh just to clean the toilet. Yeah, okay. So this right. comes with the kit as that well. That comes with it. So it cleans, lubricates, bowl, controls odor and stimulates compost. Oh yeah. So a little 500 ml bottle. Smells all right. Hmm. Hmm. You might have started a new thing, love. Don't know. What do you think? I think that looks okay. Well, it hides the. Yeah, it's not. You're still going to see a bit where this hose goes through, but it's going to hide. Think that'll work? Let's see, it's that or running is you can go back a bit further with that not being there. I think with let's give it a whirl, Mel. Hmm. 
Mm. So we can take the control panel out. I think. <laughs> well, it won't matter if it's still there, does it, really? No, oh, no. Nah. I mean... Just leave it. I think it'll be fine. Just leave it. It's only if someone wants that toilet. But most people just want the, the canister, you know? Yeah. Right, so... I think that looks better from the inside. This hose is obviously gonna... I'm gonna have to cut a hole up here. Up in there, because that's where that vent is, is just here. So that hose will come out like that. I'll swap side. See better. Somehow. And clip onto there, then I can just... Coil up behind there. Coil up behind there. Obviously. One will come out that way and then one out the door. Because once once this is on, we won't need to open this. And then that's just the, the power lead. A virtue, that's it. Screw it down. So what are you thinking? Well, I've got to get this bent through here. So I might have to cut a, a hole here. Get that to work. Let's double check roughly where I'm going to go. Just needs to be. Right there. Good measurements here. Well, that's it. We can't sell it now. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a bit high, but I can cut that out. something, I don't know if it's brought. <laughs> no, I need to make it lower. It's too... It goes. I don't think this is going to work. Did it work? Mm. Close. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. I think it's better than having no back on it, you know, on the top, yeah. and having that huge gap behind the toilet. Yeah, I think so too. Right. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to keep it there. That's the only... It's a little clip under there. Silicon? Yeah, it needs something... I wonder if I don't really want to screw a hole in the new toilet either. That's why we're going with the Ogo. Because if you go with the nature's head, every time you want to empty, you've got to pull the whole thing out like this. It's a bit of a gap there. Let's plug the hose in and see. Right, what's your issue now? Well, I might just have to take this lug off here so that this can fit in there a bit better. And I mean, that's not... No, I might not. I might just sit down like that. And I thought once, once I've screwed the toilet to the floor, I can then run silicon up around there and that'll hold this to that. All right. Just a dummy run, just to see. So right, 
this cord just plugs in where this comes out it's just a little thing and it's a negative and a positive but you can hardly hear it and then that'll that'll vent out that'll vent out like that so that's the next thing putting the hole in there and then once all that's done it's it's just a um silicon and up and forget about it nick will show you where it is in here okay so it's a little bit more of a hum now about sort of like the fridge from inside but outside you can hardly hear it so it's just a little fan Work out how to lift this. It's just a little fan here. That's it. And then, um, if you pull this out and push this button, it should. And that goes for 45 seconds. That's it. All right, um, comes with these four screws. Nick's happy with where it is. That fan is just this blowing in because it's warm out here today. Um, and it's just a matter of screwing these four in, one there, one there, and two at the front, that's it. And then I'll silicon around that other other piece and then I'll put a um, what do you call it drill a hole in that back door and we're done right it's in very simple this is the only thing you've got to take out to empty it it's all automatic so this slides in from the front on there that's your poop compartment that's your poop compartment this here is your obviously there's a little lid that comes with that so that's the bit you take out and empty that's for you your we we um they reckon you t every two to three days don't even nick using this bit so and then this is the shroud that fits on the front so that's in there and at least i think too it's good that it's grey, it's not clear, it's not white, so you can't see anything when you're emptying. Yeah. So then it's just got these two clips here. Those four clips, it's, it's down. Um, obviously when you wee, it, you've got to wee. So even for blokes, you've got to sit on the toilet to wee if you're going to use weaner. Oh, so you don't have to open anything. It's just no, got that little hole there. That's just wee. Yep. They say don't put toilet paper in. If you're going to wee, have a little bag or something in there. Then just put that in. Next time you go to the bin outside, you empty it. And then obviously use that spray yeah. to And when you're, when you're using this, you've got to pull it. Don't pull it that way. Pull it straight out. And that goes into there. There's a little button here on the side. So when you're finished... I don't know if you can see that little button just there. Yeah. Which turns the agitator on. It should work if I lift it. There you go. So no turning your handles. I think the Ogo is far more aesthetically pleasing. So that's it installed. I think it was a good choice to leave that there. Yep. Because it had to stay back and you would have had that gap. But now that you've got, that's all you, the only gap you've got. But I'll silicon that from the inside. Power cord comes in there. Your fan goes out there. That's it. Good job, babe. Good job. Yeah. I reckon we'll just go in the middle here. Pity it's grey, but it's got to drill a hole. Do it in the middle. Then it won't look dicky. Nice. <laughs> Here goes. Brand new. Nothing uh, like drilling into a brand new van. $50,000 van, but never mind. Somewhere there.
done it now. Oh, no, I'll just drill from this side so that you don't push it through. And that's what our van is made of. Which is hot. <laughs> not overly hot, but. So it's just compressed foam. So that's what they call a composite panel. Panel. So that's right. So obviously this this needs to attach to something, which is that. Which will poke through here. And then this bit, which does have a little insect filter on it. Obviously, I'm going to have to cut it to length, but that, that's how that's going to work. So I'll just cut a piece off. Might take a couple of goes. Right, so little insect microfilter there. You can get some carbon filters that can screw onto here, but we'll see how it goes without because I didn't get any. This will go through. I'll silicon this on. I'm going to go onto there and then that'll screw onto there or push onto there. And then all it's matter is just it's got a couple little screws there. Ta da! So I'll actually silicon behind this so that this doesn't leak. And then that'll just screw onto there. Job done. As simple as that. Now, hour and a half to that point. And that included the hardest part was pulling the old toilet out. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, I've finished now. I've cable tied up. This is the power lead that come in the original one. Just runs up and into there. Um, I only had black silicon, but I needed black for the the back side of this here anyway <clears throat> so I just plugged up that hole that was a fairly big hole so I just cut a bit of um, old ice cream container and put a filled it up with silicon and put that patch over it and then I've just put a little bit of silicon up through here just to stop this plastic thing um, rubbing but you won't see it from the other side because that's the back of the ogo so now virtually I have to open this ever again I just get shut up. I can get it to. There we go. And that's it. That's the finished product. Just put a little bit of silicon on that. You can hardly hear it. It's all sealed. So that's it there. Check out the new number plate. That used to be on my Harley. For those who don't know, Muffy is my nickname. And I couldn't just get Muffy, I had to put an S on it. And as we come up into the van, well there it is, the finished product. As you can see, it come up pretty neat. You can see that little bit just down in there. But I'm happy with that. Doesn't look out of place, doesn't look retrofitted. Perfect. So any questions, um, hit me up. Um, what else was done? The cost, that's what Nick's saying now, the cost. So the cost of the OGO was 2,095, I think. And it was a hundred a hundred dollars to get it sent here from Queensland there are some around but I brought it direct from the people who import them I've um, not Queensland New South Wales and this little vent thing here was forty nine dollars so it's just after nine two hours job done fairly easy like I said the hardest thing was pulling this old toilet out once we pulled that out, um, yeah, pretty easy. So obviously, 
brand new canister anyone knows anyone want one hit us up and the toilet i mean it's everything's there except for the um the back piece which we used in here okay so we'll leave that one there cheers for that uh any questions hit us up now we can use the caravan i wouldn't let nick nick use it until we put the new toilet in but...